Good evening, everyone. I'm Ron Carter. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. Pinellas County's Film Commissioner spends thousands of your bed tax dollars every year on trips to the French Riviera. His purpose is to promote movie making in Pinellas County, but this year, Tony Armour also had a chance to promote himself. Mark Douglas is on it because you paid for it. Stacy, Film Commissioner Tony Armour is also an aspiring filmmaker, and this year both he and his film traveled to Cannes to bask in the spotlight of the world's premier cinema showcase. You paid for Tony's trip, and the St. Pete Film Society Armour sponsors with your tax dollars paid for the showing of his film. If it's festival time on the French Riviera, Tony Armour is there. Hi everybody, Tony Armour, Film Commissioner for St. Petersburg, Clearwater, Florida here. I am here today at the Marche du Film. Which he spent 128000 of your bed tax dollars to lure back movie makers. But after three years of swanky smoozing at the Cannes Film Fest, the return on investment for taxpayers is zero. I think it's important for your viewers to understand how this works. It's never, I'm bringing my film there tomorrow. Maybe so, but this year Tony Armour had a personal bonus. No waiting necessary. His own short film was shown in Cannes along with other selections from the Sunscreen Festival based in Pinellas. That's a huge deal for filmmakers. That's a huge deal for filmmakers. Dwight Cenac serves as Tony Armour's volunteer wingman at Cannes. Tony's my brother. Like, he's, he's family to me. CNAC took over Sunscreen after founder Tony Armour became film commissioner. But Armour still serves as Sunscreen advisor and non-voting board member. And Armour remains listed on IRS reports as the keeper of Sunscreen books and records. The only problem that this, ever, that this really brings up is, is, is you. You're the only, you, like, this, th that's it. The problem is, in his current role as county film commissioner, Tony Armour supports Sunscreen with $40,000 a year of your bed tax money. And this year, Sunscreen supported Tony Armour by presenting his movie in Cannes. Isn't that a conflict of interest? No. Why not? Why would it be? Armour's boss, David Downing, doesn't think it's a conflict either. Whatever the case, Downing won't let us within a French Riviera mile of Tony Armour. Tony Armour is the Pinellas County Film Commissioner. He's a professional actor, director, producer, a professional speaker. But you won't allow us to speak with him directly. Why not? Mark, just like last time, when it comes to questions at this level, I'm happy to speak with you. That's not really answering the question, though, is it? I'm happy to speak with you, Mark. Pinellas County Film Commissioner Tony Armour is playing hide-and-seek with us now, but we know exactly where to find him next May, back in Cannes for the annual film festival. Mark Douglas, 8 on your side.